Ladies and gents, almost you reaction. This is I crippled the game even more with a nightmare factory satisfactory gameplay. Let's game it out. I guess this is uh, part four. Yeah, part four. So uh, in the you know previous video, I guess he created some kind of a skyscraper style, you know, abomination with conveyor belts, right? The building to the heavens or whatever that crap was. That re really screwed up the whole game's engine at a point that. There was no frame rate, if you uh, kind of look at it or something like that, which was ridiculous. And I like how some one of the developers basically said, that, okay, I think I'm going to take your key away, obviously as a joke thing. But still, I, <laughs> I love how he just, you know, what next shit I can do, that's what he's thinking. So I don't even know where he's going to go from here. There are way too many videos left. And if he created a skyscraper type of thing yesterday, I don't know what he's going to do from here and out. But I guess... People are telling me that by the end of it, it's going to go even more ridiculous. I don't even know how that works, but yeah, let's watch it. Hey there, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. I am Josh, this is Satisfactory, where normal people make awesome streamlined factories. But <laughs> that's not what I'm gonna be doing. Let me catch you up on what I've done already. I did this mess of a conveyor belt system. I also did this even bigger mess of a conveyor belt system. And then I made this tornado out of conveyor belts. We can't look right at it or our frame rate just <laughs> dies. We have a lot of tiers awesome. we can unlock to unlock new kinds of equipment and gear. Last time we also found a wreckage site, which was kind of cool. So we have these hard drives that we can analyze, which we'll do at some point if I remember. And last we left off, we unlocked being able to use coal power, which is pretty cool because we can drill it and then we can automate sending the coal straight to a power plant, which then powers the drill, which then keeps it going. So it's this perpetual powering machine and we're kind of far away from home base. So we need to figure out how to get all this coal back. I sense we're going to use conveyor belts to do it. So let's see what we can do. I've got some ideas here. All right, we're going to find a way to get this conveyor belt all the way down there. I'm just going to keep clicking until I find a spot that works. I like how basically developers... Uh just soft fit like how you basically turn conveyor belt is gonna automatically adjust to that you don't have to find someone like a u-turn conveyor belt then you have to find a straight conveyor belt that would be way too much right if this was fallout 4 that's what it would have been right you have to find the correct is that an ass pattern you need to find an ass pattern conveyor belt no it will adjust itself the way you move there we go. There we go. While we work on getting the coal sorted out, let's also make sure to keep upgrading this guy. Now we're going to upgrade to improved melee combat. That does allow us to buy this now. Let's go ahead and create that. See what our new melee weapon looks like. Oh, look at that, huh? Ooh, jeez. <laughs> Can't wait to beat up some wildlife with this thing. All right, so I've gone ahead and connected a conveyor belt here that goes ahead and sends this all the way home. Let me give you the quick tour. It really couldn't be more simple. You know, you just follow this down. We had to give it a nice gradual slope. Wouldn't be up if there weren't at least a couple of turns. Eventually the coal takes you down this lovely pathway to what I like to call the conveyor weave. A beautiful interwoven masterpiece. Let's do a quick tour so we can see all of the features of the weave. He just fucking slipped into it like oh look at that. Oh, It's not going to be one of my thing if it's not going to have turns and look at that shit. <laughs> it's just, weave, how much time does he have? Oh my god look at that. What I like to call the conveyor weave. Holy shit, look at how much it spans, man. I mean, I be, you know, obviously, you know, he, he, he makes every video thinking, I'm a, I'm a creator, I need to make this more ridiculous. So he just saw that he made that volcano thing. He's like, how am I going to top that? Oh, I know, let's make a fucking field out of conveyor belts. Weave a beautiful interwoven masterpiece. Let's do a quick tour so we can see, see all of the, in the features of the, the weave. Belt, so. First, the coal's gonna go through <laughs> each and every one of these, and once it completes its journey, God knows how long that's gonna take. It's only on the second little row. It's gotta go through all of this. Eventually, the coal reaches its landing point, which is right here, and then all we need to do is follow this beautiful little conveyor belt, and then a nice standard bob and weave pattern all the way home. And I do mean all the way home. Home. We're gonna replace all of our biomass burners, which at this point I think we have like six or seven of them. We're gonna replace those with coal generators. So we need to create the splitting system so each one gets enough coal, but also so we can separate coal and use it for other crafting. First things first is one conveyor splitter. Put that right about there. And we're actually gonna have a second one too, which we'll put a little further down here. And we'll connect this one first. We're gonna put another splitter right over here. Face it out like that. Connect a conveyor belt from here to here. And then we're gonna set up three coal generators.
generators right here. One, and two, and three. There we go. Set this like conveyor just... belt to go all what the way over to this guy, because builds. once again, we're just not normal. Great, so each one of these guys, in theory, is going to be able to get a little bit of power. That's the hope, anyway. The last thing on Tier 4 that we can unlock is Logistics Mark 3, which is going to require us to make motors, which is somewhat more complex if we want to automate it. We, we need to take our rotors, which are already being made, and we also need to connect them to stators. To make stators, we need to make steel pipes, and to make steel pipes, we just need steel ingots. Steel ingots are made with iron ore and coal. So pretty much we need to have a machine that's going to combine iron ore and coal. We're going to need a machine that takes those steel ingots and turns them into steel pipe, and then that steel pipe is going to have to be fed into a machine that's also making wire to then make the stators, and then we're going to have to send the stators to the same place that's making our rotors, and those together will make the motors. So let's get started. This shouldn't be that hard. We also have to give the space <laughs> elevator some stuff, including some motors as well as some modular frames. Modular frames, we don't quite have 500 of, but it shouldn't be too hard to make. After all, to make modular frames, all we have to do is combine reinforced iron plate and iron rods, which we can also automate. You know what I almost forgot about? Those hard drives. Here, have a hard drive. Start analyzing that. Tell me something amazing. The analysis of the hard drive is completed. No new research is available. Try again later after further progress. Your NA has been returned to you. But then it offers me this stuff. It offers me like an alternate blueprint. How about this one? This looks good. Because we're going to need iron ore, which is currently coming out here, we're just going to use this little splitter right here and pull some of the iron ore out to use over on our other machine. Because this miner only pulls out this ore so fast, and then it's split three different ways, which means none of them are really getting enough ore, we're going to upgrade this guy to a miner mark two. First, we beam this guy out of existence. Now we put the new miner mark two right where it was. Now we reconnect the conveyor belt. Look at that. That's much better. Like, it's not perfect. Oh my god, so look at that. Uh, first, when he talked about how there are Mark 2, Mark 3 conveyor belts and miners basically just produce more. It's like, okay, maybe it's just, you know, that old city thing. I need more type of thing, right? Because my mentality was, yeah, Mark 1 is go going to be enough. Everything's going to work. Uh, no, apparently the iron ore is so slow. It's going to be lacking. You need Mark 2 for certain things. Fixed, but at least everything's getting a little bit more. Oh my god, the coal finally showed up. Look at this. Oh my god. So I timed it. For the coal to get all the way from the beginning to the end, it takes three hours. We better not make some changes on the starting <laughs> side. Remember how I said the conveyor belt cyclone you can't look at without the frame rate dying? Well, we're running out of places to go where that's not the case. Oh, there is a beautiful sight. Not only do we have the conveyor belt, but we have the vortex in the background. I'm surprised my computer isn't literally on fire right now. Yeah. Look at my guy's hands. It's just two frames of animation going back and forth going ah this seems like a good idea right surely the vehicle's not gonna have a problem can we ride on this oh yeah well we're gonna use this as our one frame per second tour vehicle well to nobody's surprise we're stuck oh yeah this is fantastic everything's getting plenty of power and now right here where the iron ore and the coal is coming out we're gonna put a foundry ta-da and we'll connect that there connect that there great and we'll configure the machine of course to make steel ingots yep there they are and now we're gonna put a constructor right here and run the foundry to the constructor and set this guy to make steel pipe. And for now, we're going to have our steel pipe just go into one of these storage containers. In order to make the stators, we need to combine those pipes with wire, which is why we're back over here, where we're going to run a conveyor belt all the way over to where it was. This game really wants you to do stuff vertically, which I totally get, but I like the idea of just making something as messy as possible. If it works, it works, right? So now we have our copper wire on its way. Now we're going to throw down an assembler. Looks beautiful, as always. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? I mean, entertainment is opposite of how things work efficient, right? If you're actually trying to make profit, you would make everything efficient, but that's boring. If you want to have entertainment, you're going to make things as fucked up as possible, which is basically this. So people <laughs> who makes games like this, right, like similar type of game, just assume that people are going to play as a simulator type, like how am I going to make a game more efficient? But then they realize, oh, wait a minute, there are people who are just going to play this for entertainment's sake, just fuck things up. And then realize, oh my god, it's just two frames now. <laughs> Crissy crossy the conveyor belts like that. Not a prerequisite, at least not for most. For me, it is. Watch as the pipes and the wires crisscross all excitedly. And we're going to tell this machine to make stators. And there they are. Would you look at that? And the last glorious step for making motors is we need to connect this with the machine that's making our rotors. So this container here has our rotors. We'll just run it over here. Oh, yeah, rotors. Come on down. So now we've got the rotors and the stators right next to each other. we got to put the one thing into the hole for the other thing, which is going to involve yet another assembler right there. Little Chrissy 
crossy crossy later. Everything's going into the places where they're supposed to go. And we'll set this machine to make motors. And there we go. We've got motors coming out. We made a motor baby. And they'll just collect in there until we have 500 million zillion of them. And the whole thing is automated. We don't have to do a thing. This will pretty much just go forever. There is another machine we need to make that will automatically make these modular frames, which is reinforced iron plate and iron rods. We're going to do something similar like we just did. We're going to go over where we have our iron rods coming out. We're going to split it out. We're going to have it aim next to the thing that's making the enforced plating. So way over here, we have our reinforced iron plate. And this is the wildly convoluted place where we have a bunch of rods coming in and out of nowhere. So we're just going to split off from here. And as always, those, those rods are stuck, man. Look at that. There's always a belt or something here and there. That always has some kind of material that is stuck. It's like, okay, it's way too fucking chaotic, right? It's gonna take time. And as always, put an assembler back here. There we go. So we've got reinforced plating coming out there. We've got rods coming out there. We've got this beautiful cyclone in the background, as always. And yes, I know I could have had this all go in a straight line, but where's the fun in that? Now we're gonna tell this thing to make modular frames. We're gonna put another storage container up here that we're gonna feed everything back into. Can't have it getting too far away from me. I don't wanna run a marathon just to find all my supplies. We now have enough stuff to unlock logistics mark three so let's definitely do that one two three launch pretty exciting we have bigger storage containers but most exciting is we have conveyor belt mark three conveyor belt mark one transports 60 resources per minute but mark three does a blazing 270 you know what these coal plants are so awesome and i have so much extra coal i'm gonna go ahead and build three more plants right behind it let's put it right about there and there and there and i'm gonna remove this guy here and i'm gonna have one splitter here and then those splitters are going to split to there. This one will go like that. And this will connect to that. So I've added a splitter here. And one side goes over here, splits three ways, goes to these front guys. And this one will head into the back here, where there's going to be another splitter. And split three ways, going into the three machines back here. Now that we have all the coal power plants that take care of themselves, we can get rid of these biomass burners. Because they require us to keep refilling them. And we don't need to deal with that anymore. So I feel like one of my <laughs> choke points is how quickly... So <laughs> <laughs> Between all of this recording, right? He was basically filling the biomass, you know, react reactor, whatever that was, right? Biomass plant there constantly just to fuel all this ridiculous construction. Let's be honest, all these conveyor belts, all these different splitters here and there just to, you know, uh, compensate it probably require a lot of energy. So he was constantly feeding it there the screws can come out of this machine. I kind of want to see what happens if we replace this conveyor belt with the Mark III. So let's get rid of the Mark I. Let's connect the Mark III. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's not screwing around. All right, you get with the times. You're slowing everything down here. I mean, how much... <laughs> I can't even run up these conveyor belts now. They just pull you down. That's fantastic. While we wait, let's not forget to make everything the proper color. All we're really waiting on right now is to gather as much stuff as we need to shove it into the space elevator. But that's no excuse to not have everything be color coordinated. What about you? Can I color you? No? You'll be back. Oh boy, the time has finally come. Took a little while, but we got <laughs> our 500 space modular elevator. frames and our 150 motors. So let's just pile all this crap in here and see what happens. All right, we got all of our supplies in. Now let's go from load to <clears throat> seal. There it goes. Okay, is it secure now? Can I send it? Okay. <clears throat> Bye. Have fun in space. Let me know if you can see the vortex from there. All right, well, that felt good. What now? Unavailable and early access, damn it. So launching that stuff into orbit has unlocked new tiers, which gives us some pretty exciting new stuff. My God. Wow, this gets real. And an even... Wait a minute, so certain things are gonna be locked for him, is that it? Just because this is early access? Bigger truck, be still my heart. Oh my god, and a Mark IV conveyor belt? Well, and oh my god, now a jetpack. Well, go. that's been a lot of fun. I've got some ideas jetpack. for how we can top the weave. So thanks for watching, head on back for more Satisfactory soon, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Look at this shit, this fucking ridiculous. Look at that, it's fogging in the distance. That's how far away it is. <laughs> Jetpack, really? He's gonna fly everywhere? This is fucking awesome. And Mark 4 conveyor belt. 3 was ridiculously fast for a factory. What is gonna be 4? It's like, you know, supersonic speed or something. Can't even see this shit. But it'd be, it'd be more fun, right? If you just, you know, point conveyor belts and create rows of conveyor belt. Just to, you know, give you a ride, right? If you wanna go one place to another, just, you know, stand on the conveyor belt. It's so fast that it will just, you know, get you faster than a tractor, I guess. Man, I'm like this so far. I like how we just going like what am I gonna I'm gonna create a you know weave pattern, fuck it. I don't even know what he's gonna do next time, right?
There are thumbnails, but it doesn't tell me much. But yeah. <laughs> Or right, well, that was I crippled the game even more with the nightmare factory. I'm I'm surprised the engine is holding up, right? Because when something shit like this happens, usually engine crashes, right? So I think this engine is kind of good. I don't know which engine is this, this Unreal engine or something. I don't know. The engine is good that it's actually holding out with that kind of frame rate. Otherwise, it would have crashed. Right, well, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the reaction. There's a link in the description. Check out the cards. Check out the cards. Yeah. I'll see you next time.